tour that's like basically based on the original Super Mario Kart. Um, so it has Mario and Donkey Kong Jr. from the original Super Mario Kart game for Super Nintendo. La di da, who cares? Uh, whatever. So the big one at the end, they're like, "All right, we got one more announcement." And then you just hear, "It's me, Mario," and I'm like, "Oh, here we go, Super Mario 64." They show it in the handheld on the Switch. It's beautiful, dude. It's still, of course, all they did was up-res it, man, which, uh, which is a bummer, but it still looks like the cleanest, most vibrant version of Super Mario 64 I've ever seen. So I'm like, okay, all right, cool, boom, right there, handheld, on the go, whatever. Awesome. Then it goes to black, and then it's on the Switch. You see the M with the two little dots, and it's Mario Sunshine. And that motherfucker looks beautiful, dude. I don't. I know they didn't do anything to it visually, except again, spruce it up, you know, up res it. But it looks beautiful, man. It looks better than I remember it, dude. And I have it. I played it recently on the GameCube. It's a beautiful game to begin with. But I guess just because they up res it, it look, bro, it pops. It pops on that screen, man. Um, and you know, and they show you the gameplay, whatever. Boom, boom, boom. Then it goes black, and then boom, Super Mario Galaxy. And I was like, it's fucking true, dude. The fucking leaks, the rumors, everything we were told is true. Super Mario 3D All-Stars is the name of the game. And get this. See, when Nintendo does this shit, this is, this is when I fucking love them so hard, dude. Because I have been so negative on them, and rightfully so. I stand by everything I, by everything I said. Um, they've, been, they've been fucking dormant all year long. And while this isn't a new game per se... This is a fucking badass collection, dude. And, oh, and it also has like fucking 120 plus different pieces of music, songs from all three of the games. You can listen to them whenever you want in a uh, music player mode. All this shit. So it's, it's a great, it's a great collection, great bundle. Cover art on that shit's beautiful. Okay, so they come out there like, oh, we're doing it a limited run physically, which I'm like, okay, maybe because of COVID and all that, they're gonna, they're kind of scarce on resources. I don't know, uh, but then it's like it'll be limited run physically. And then it'll be available digitally to download until March of next year. So that means that after that, they're going to completely get rid of it. Take it off the eShop. If you ain't bought it physically or you ain't already downloaded it in that time frame, you're not going to be able to get it. So again, I don't know why they do that. I hate... To me, that's nonsensical shit. And I know you can come up with a million reasons why they would do it. Oh, maybe they want to you know, emphasize if they ever bring you know N64 to Nintendo Switch Online. Why would people, they wouldn't want to launch with Mario 64? Why would they do that if you already have Mario 64 in the collection? I, whatever. I think it's stupid to do that. But whatever, don't matter. Because what this here is, this is my fucking receipt for just pre-ordering Super Mario 3D All-Star. So I will have that beautiful fucking cartridge. I will have that fucking physical release on September 18th. 15 days from today. Just two weeks, basically. They announced it. They confirmed it today, and it's like, oh, by the way, it's coming in two weeks. I, I fucking, I, I, I was so happy. I was so fucking happy. Uh, it looks great, man. All three games look beautiful, uh, upresed. Again, like I said, I'm still ticked. I'm still ticked that there was nothing else apparently that we know of. You know, I don't want to get my hopes up, but maybe there's shit in there Nintendo just hasn't revealed. That maybe they'll reveal like a week from now or two right before launch, or maybe they'll just let us see it on our own when we play. But. Um, so, uh, uh, all I see is that they've upresed it and that they've changed uh they've they've optimized certain things like you know if you're playing Mario 64 instead of saying oh like press B or you know press start or whatever like press plus you know it's optimized it'll, it they change the button prompts to, to match the switch and for games like Galaxy for example I'm going to be very interested to see how does Galaxy play in handheld mode because they showed that you can play it with the Joy-Cons loose like a Wiimote and Nunchuck so you can use the cursor to get all the star bits. Well, how's that going to work in uh, in handheld? You know, I got to see that. But the fact that they did optimizations for the games like that, you know, like for, for Galaxy's motion controls and things like that shows that they did a little tweaking here and there, man. So they, they didn't just they didn't just up res it. So it's like, OK, man. But man, it just it just it just looks so good, man. The entire package super mario 3d all-stars it just rolls off the tongue i'm just like that's uh I, you saw what happened the pre-orders went live today i went straight after work i didn't even stay for overtime i was like fuck that because i know this is a limited uh, thing so i want it physically bro i want that case i want that cartridge so i went boom pre-bought it right now i'm done bro when september 18th comes around i'm going in there paying the balance and taking my game home man 
Uh, so this is great, man. And this coupled with, like I said, you know, off topic, but you no, know, November third, Jurassic World uh, Evolution Complete Edition. These two games right there. I mean, I've already been back on my Switch and having fun with it. Even though, like I said, I prefer Xbox. My, my Switch is just phenomenal because of the fact that it, it goes everywhere. But these two games will get me on the Switch at a fever pitch, dude. If I have Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, Mario Galaxy, and then Jurassic World Evolution Complete Edition, nigga, please. Nigga, please. I'm going to be going crazy, dude. This is good. This is good shit. Today was a good day for Nintendo, man. Fucking finally, man. Not just a direct... A Super Mario 35th Anniversary Direct. Mad shit announced. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm really not into any of it, except uh, I think the Mario Kart Live shit is just fucking awesome. The way that the, the Switch is being utilized there. Of course, it's not for me. It's more for the kids. It's more of a gimmick, but it's just it's just fun to see that. And it's just like, it opens up the world to like, man, bro, if Nintendo can have the Switch basically controlling a, an RC car with a camera on it, you know, to, to be able to map out and design your own courses in an AR type of game, and it looks that good from what we saw, then shit, man. I, I mean, get a little bit more research and development there, and you could have a really badass experience, you know, going forward, like on a Mario Kart or a Wave Race, you know, some shit like that, F-Zero. But, uh, but yeah, man, I was just like, dude, so much shit announced. Uh, but really, the only ones that I'm really into is like I'm I'm super hyped that Super Mario All Stars is on the on the Nintendo Super Nintendo Switch Online, and uh, and bro the 3D collection, bro the 3D Mar Super Mario 3D All Stars. That shit just talk about a game that I, I I've gone through the full gamut of emotions on. You know what I'm saying? I initially heard the leak, heard the rumor the first time it ever came out. And, bro, I, I almost jizzed my pants. I was just like, oh, my God, because I was thinking complete remakes because that's how it was originally leaked. And I'm like, oh, then a Mario 64 remake. Not up res, not, you know, re-release. Remake, nigga. I was like, dude. And, and of course, Galaxy and, uh, and Sunshine also. And then we find out, no more leaks come out and it's not going to be completely remade they're just going to be up res and that's it and so then i come back down to earth and i'm fucking i'm i'm down about it i'm like fuck bro that's being lazy i'm not gonna buy it this is bullshit da, 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 da. then i start thinking more about having these three games together and i'm a little bit more hyped i'm, I'm kind of in the middle now and then i see it played out in front of me shown to me to my own eyes today and now i'm through the fucking roof like I, 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 this game has taken me on a roller coaster i haven't even played it yet I mean, I played them, of course, all of them. But I'm saying I haven't played this this collection yet. 